Kings Grace Bible Church members. In this short clip, I'd like to provide an overview of the Grace Bible Church Library homepage. You'll see in the top corner you have got your home page button with Opal's Home and New Items. Your new items are also displayed on the Welcome tab right in here on the far left here, New Items. And there's 10 as you go down, you'll see 10 new items, a mixture possibly of DVDs, books, etc. And if you'd like to see more new items, click to view more, and it'll provide you options to look at new items within the last 30 days, 60 days, 90, 6 months, 12 months, or all that goes back quite a while. All right, go back to the home page. Okay, now you're seeing the media format. If you use the down arrow, you'll see that you have DVDs in your library. You could just search for those only and put in a search term, or you can always use an asterisk. Shift 8 will provide the little star, and that'll search for everything under, say, DVD. If I choose all, the little star will search your entire library collection. I can also just choose books to search for by putting a check mark here or just ebooks. You're seeing you have two DVDs, six ebooks, 1,809 books. All right. So let's search the entire collection. I'm going to put, well, I just searched the entire collection with the shift, with this right here, your little asterisk, 1,809 records. Okay, now I'm going to do another search. So that gave us the entire collection. Let's search for the word God. I have 193 records. Let's have a look. The first record, I have called you by name. There's the series title, Finding Wings, a Chandler Sisters novel, number three. So if you do read series, you'll see your series title shown on these records and if you'd like to search by series specifically, you can go right down here and choose series title. By the way, anywhere searches anywhere in the record for whatever term you put here. But you can search specifically for a title, a series title, a certain author, a subject, call number. I'm thinking the library staff will be using barcode. You can search by date of publication or international standard book number or by publisher. Okay. So I've searched God anywhere in the records, found everything. Let's open up this. Oh, one other thing. You've got your series, your author, your call number, where you'll go in the library to find it, the day it was added to your library, and the availability. Today, I see one copy available. It looks like you own one copy. The green here shows it's available. If anything is filled in in the yellowish squares that means they're either on hold for another library or a church member or they're on reserve and if there was a one in the red here that would show that the one copy is out on loan and you could ask the library to hold it for you or reserve it when it comes in next you can also click the title of any of these books so if i click pearl in the sand a novel it'll provide me with a very nice summary statement so I can make a better decision if I'd like to borrow the book. Right in here is your summary. Here's different subject headings. In other words, this book was cataloged with Christian fiction, love stories, Bible fiction, Jericho fiction, women in the Bible. So if I was to search women in the Bible fiction, this book would come up. Okay, let's go back to the results page. So you can click any title and read more about the book to make a decision if you'd like to borrow it. Also, on the far left of the screen, there's a refined search column. This will help you refine your search. So I searched anywhere in the library records for the word God. I can find, say, books on accident fic victims fiction with the word God in the record. Adoption fiction, Amish fiction. This is telling us that we have 22 books at the Grace Bible Church Library that have the word God in their records and are about Amish fiction. So you could click right here. It'll redo the search just for those 22 books. And there we go. Here are the books on Amish fiction with the word God in it. So if I click this title, there's the word God. That's why the record came up in the summary. And now I'm seeing cooking, Ohio, Amish, 
Amish, cooking, again, religious fiction, all of these subject headings. Another nice way to find books is just by reading the summaries or opening up the records and refining your search. So if you see Amish fiction and it looks interesting, just click it. All right. So if I go down here, I have romance fiction. By the way, these are genres. Christian fiction, fiction, love stories. Bystack, just so you know, those are the book industry standard subject headings. They use caps. So here's fiction, Amish, and Mennonite, one book. Christian romance, two books, etc. So the refined search key can provide you uh, really a nice way of searching and finding other books you might not be aware of. I'm going to do the search over again. And again, this is where I found the Amish fiction, right down here under subject, Amish fiction 22. Okay, this one has Amish Pennsylvania fiction. So there's two records with the word God, Amish Pennsylvania fiction right here. You can search by different authors. If you happen to know an author that you like, you could click them. A certain area, era, excuse me, 1945 to 1990, there's one record that has the word God in it. 19th century, three. Genre, Bible fiction, Christian, domestic, fantasy, fiction, etc. Bisect, there's my book industry standards again. Okay, so there's a bit about searching your home page. Here's your search options for the owl beginner. This is for the younger folks. They can search something like God right here. They could search um, God in this area. Okay. You're seeing it's pulling up some options I have. And here are for the younger folks. It's in the library. The print's a bit bigger here. Um, oh, also, if, a, if your child is at home and is looking up books, this is a nice feature. You could click these little backpacks and choose these books, see the list, and you could print this list out right in here, print preview, email it yourself, or save it, and go find these books the next time you're in the library. I'm going to go back to the home screen, right up here, and back to the home screen. Let's look at the resources, which will change as your library moves on. You've got the home welcome tab, if you'd like to go to your church website, maybe read the weekly bulletin, etc., click right here. It's opening me right to the church website. I can page down. I can find the YouTube, the service schedule, uh, watch Grace Bible Church here, and the weekly bulletin. Okay. Uh, right. If I'd like to look at resources, oh, one second, sorry. You'll see a calendar here. They may be popular. The staff of the library may be populating this calendar as time goes on with maybe special events in the library or even at the church. So pay attention here. This welcome might change over time. Maybe there'll be another resource here. And finally, Christian resources online. This is for you to look at other different resources you might not know about, such as the Christian History Institute, the Wabash Center. Bible dictionaries, classic Bible commentaries, etc. You might see these changing over time. And also, if you have a resource that you think other Grace uh, Church members would like, let the library staff know, and they can put it on here uh, as needed. As you know, as you recommend things, they can add them as needed. So there's a little introduction to your Grace Bible Church Library homepage. And please look for more coming out soon.